just a very few rapid words about Christian attitudes to war. Then I'll very quickly go into just war, uh, not because uh, the preceding speaker, Angelo Gnedinger, uh, uh, covered the whole subject, of course not. Uh, the Geneva Convention is hundreds and hundreds of articles and pages. Uh, but it's to give you sort of the background, the philosophical background, and the also legal and historical background of trying to limit war. And then thirdly, and this would be my main point here, because this is the last day of this uh, beautiful conference, will be to extend sort of our discussion in the light of what we have heard, especially yesterday, uh, in this concept that Alexei Keller and I have developed uh, that we have entitled Just Peace. And we will, I'll do that because Just Peace, surprisingly, has not been really much thought about or thought of or developed from a conceptual point of view in the scientific literature. You have hundreds, thousands of works on just war. Everybody talks about just peace, but what is a just peace? So we, we have some, some alternative, I think, uh, viewpoints on that. Theologians have worked on just peace, yes, because scientists have very little uh, experience uh, handling that concept, even though, of course, everybody knows what justice is, and everybody would like peace, or most everybody would usually like peace, especially in bourgeois Switzerland. <clears throat> 